Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be working on uh, jacking up the car today. We're going to take in the wheels and tires to discount tire and get them mount and balance. We got the new Bridgestone SO4s. I'm going to get those thrown on and get rid of these old nasty seven year old dried out worn out cracked tires. You can see all like the, the cracking and stuff in the rubber. Uh, there's some tread left, but I just don't feel safe taking them to the track and getting them warmed up. So, I might as well get them swapped out. And then we're also going to be throwing on the Olin's suspension. Let's so get the tires and wheels taken off. Wondering why I'm taking the wheels and tires in to get them put on versus driving the GTR in is. Uh, the area I live in near Seattle, they've been de-icing the roads and putting salt and stuff out, so I don't want to get any of that crap all over the car and start to rust it, so I'm um, driving them in, making the trip. Alright, we made it to Discount Tire. Let's get these unloaded. These are the only differences I can find in the instructions. The one on the left here is for the solid, or solid top aluminum hat. And this is the one I have with the rubber aluminum top hats. So you can see there's a area right there with the washer that goes below the top hat. A washer that goes above with the nylon lock nut and then the adjusting valve. Alright, so we're getting ready to install the new coilovers, and this is just a comparison to look at the old Olins, which are the CT4 SO100. So these aren't manufactured anymore, where the road and track is the new one, so it's going to put on. Before you install these, there's a little adapter that goes on this uh, mounting point to the vehicle's chassis. So that has to go on first. All right, I'm just using my jack underneath the uh, the brake. And tighten the nuts. All right, and then the lowering fastening nut needs to be tightened to um, 75 foot pounds. Here's a look at installed. That's the spacer I was talking about that comes in the package. Otherwise, if you didn't install the spacer, it would be rubbing. So that gets that in, washer and the nut on the outside. So on the front suspension, we're going to go ahead and adjust the preload. And the standard uh, length of that spring is 200 millimeters. Uh, you're supposed to put 2 millimeters of preload on there. And for every one rotation, 
you get 1.5 millimeters of adjustment. It says that right there. So we're going to rotate it like one and a quarter turns, uh, one and a third turns basically. So I went ahead and adjusted that down to the factory recommended settings from Olin's and they wanted a 39 millimeter gap for the height adjuster with the preload of 198 so two millimeters preload on the spring so I went ahead and adjusted that down so 39 that's all adjusted so I'm going to go ahead and put the wheel back on on this side, go adjust the driver's side, lower it down see what it looks like. All right, passenger side one is all snug down, and I've got it set at the same exact setting, 39 millimeters. Front one's all installed, looking good. So I got both sides done, and that looks a lot nicer height-wise. Well, you can tell the back's still up a little bit higher because those still have the the 20-year-old Olins on there. But yeah, you can see this is going to tuck in there real nice. About an inch or so, inch and right inch and a quarter. And the factory service manual says to set the the rebound on these at 10 clicks. So we'll go ahead and do that. Here comes the Olens. Get the top of the coilovers bolted down. All right, we're going to be going with 12 foot pounds. baby all right we can go ahead and get the suspension bolt in all right that bolt is all the way through now we can go ahead and put our suspension nut on the back here and 
factory torque settings for this are between 65 to 85 foot pounds. I don't know, 65 to 80 foot pounds, and I'm going to go ahead and torque it at 72. And this is 17 millimeters. Owens is in. Looks nice. Bolins. Got the Nismo A arms. Looking nice. Can't wait to get this thing on the track. Super Pros fit really nicely as far as all the polyurethane bushings. Fitting there really good on the knuckles. Fit perfectly all the suspension components. And this is going to be my. I think my biggest plus is these white line polyurethane bushings because the factory ones I had were just completely eroded and just destroyed. Nothing left of them. So I can feel the vehicle just sagging around all the corners. So. Alright, and I missed this the first time, but the factory service manual for the O lens recommends the spacing in the back right here at 44. So we're going to go ahead and adjust it using my micrometer and it's sitting right now at like 34 so I can adjust it about 10 so that should give the right height kind of exactly what I'm looking for and that's what it recommends in the book and that's for the dual flow valve BNR32 Olin so let's go ahead and adjust that all right we can go ahead and loosen this lower ring comes with the spanner wrench and then I'm just going to use a rubber mount. So we can loosen that up. And then we're going to spin this until we get our 10. Alright, so I've got the Spacing out, tuck this down, and get a good measurement on it. So that's set to 44 millimeters. And let's measure the distance between the two rings. We are at 44, so that is perfect. Let's do the other side. All right, one thing you'll want to do is go ahead and tighten down this lower ring because it has to be loose in order for this to pivot to fit into position but uh, once you get it you want to tighten it down so it's not going to move at all there we go all right so you can see this side in the rear and put our micrometer on and just get like a rough measurement I must not have like thought of adjusting these when I assembled them for some reason but you're sitting at like 30 millimeters of spacing so I gotta go uh, plus 14 so let's go ahead and gap that all right we can go ahead and snug this back down spin a wrench on Give it a few taps to the rubber mallet. Snug it into position. There we go. Double check that measurement. Yeah, right at 44, that's perfect. Last thing we wanna double check up top here at the dust boot. You can see as we were twisting it, it kinda of got bunched up. So we're gonna fix that. And this is the dampening adjustment, so on the R32 in the rear, um, they recommend for the settings uh, 11, and then for the front, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, she's all on the ground. That's the ride height there. So you've got about that much room of play. So I'm not gonna have to worry about any rubbing or anything like that off the bumps, which is nice. Front looks like this here. About the same amount of space. Some people might think it's a little high. Myself, uh, that's what Owens recommends. And I kind of like a little bit higher ride heights because I don't want to rub. And then on top of that, with my Gretty front bumper. I don't want to deal with having to scrape that thing on going down like curbs or over speed bumps or anything like that. It's fiberglass. I don't want to crack it and cost myself more money. And as much as I'd like to take this thing out today and drive it and show you guys how it handles with these on, of course it's raining. So I will not be going out as much as I'd like to. This video is already getting too long. Anyway, guys, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. I'm trying to hit a 1,000 subscribers, and if you guys subscribe, I'll put your name in a raffle, and I'm going to give away these white line polyurethane bushings for the rear knuckles for the suspension. Uh, most cars, these are blown out. So go ahead and subscribe down below, and uh, you'll be entered in to win a set of them. Uh, once I get my 1,000 subscribers, I'll draw a name, and I'll ship them out to you. So just put your information down below and uh, I'll be back with some more videos. I'm going to do a brake upgrade, a uh, Link ECU, and uh, go for some more horsepower finally. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. It's already a pretty long video just with the install. I'll do uh, more videos later of me testing this thing on the track. I'm going to take this thing to the ridge out in Shelton. And do some laps around the road course, uh, probably Pacific Raceway as well, as well as just driving on the street. So I've already tested them on the road, but I haven't made a video of it. So I'll be back. Uh, stay tuned and watch that progress later on.